I'll just, I'll just say, uh, Tom, you know how you can do too many Q&As and your brain, brain gets fried. It works for the journalists, too. Your brain. But um, Alejandro. <laughs> well, for me, for me, it has been a little bit crazy because, um, uh, you know, I have this great situation where um, I was fortunate to do, to to be nominated last last year, in this one year ago, I was shooting Revenant. I was in the middle of the worst part of it, you know, losing the snow, and and I have to come not like 50 per, 50, 15 percent of what I have been doing now, but still this reminiscent. And I suddenly, sometimes in the beginning, I remember, you know, I went from the, in a way, I, I went from. The, to a portrait of a suicidal man to a survivor, you know, so suddenly I have to shift gears or I, I was talking about the rhetoric of the creative process to the eloquence of the silence of a film, so I couldn't find exactly how I can talk about the film that I had just finished literally three months ago and coming from suddenly the memories of being talking about all the films that had just passed, so for me it was a little difficult to get my mind in and uh, and everything passed as when you are in a car like everything is and you spend five years of you know doing a film and trying to figure out what is that film about and then you are as you were saying like putting a microphone and explain what brought to you this why you did that why so to, to sort of reduce the film in five minutes of uh, work that you have done that you have even not understand, that you need perspective, is, is I think one of the most challenging things that every time that I talk about it, I feel that I'm betraying it, that I'm reducing it, that I'm dirty. So, I mean, there, there's something that I feel that I'm reducing the whole thing to something that what a bad film I did when I talk about it. I say, oh, this is a bad film because I cannot articulate it. And uh, so that I think is one of the, I think the lowest moment I have to say was when obviously before I finished the film, these same magazines only came with an article, you know, saying about all the over budget and all the disasters and the living hell that somebody said. I don't know who was that guy, but one guy was helping him, but not for all of us. And so they had to come before finishing the film to explain or to justify something that nobody has seen it yet. And that was a very strange position. And that was a very complicated situation where we live now as media. And I understand that and I appreciate the curiosity and people want to know, but suddenly you are accused by something that nobody has been even seen it or has a way to be understood. And that was kind of, I said, oh my God, now I hear go to something that I, you know. So that's, I think, is a hard thing to do, which I share with all of them. Uh, and uh, that's that's a, that's a very hard job, I have to say. Uh, uh, and you appreciate it. I don't want to be in a way that you know, in a way that say no, but it's hard when you do it. You know, you cannot find a fresh way to 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 to, to, to articulate your thoughts. That's that's the most difficult thing. One of the the, 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 the highest moments is, I think, that uh, two things: that the film was received by the audience. I think. That, that, that is the biggest reward, I think, for us as a filmmaker, because you do films to be understood and expressed, so when a film works in that level, it's a fantastic thing. And the fact when the film was nominated for so many nominations for so many members of the crew, it was a, a love letter for the film itself and for all the people, not only one or two, but all, everybody that did such a great job, that with such great you know, power and develop, you know, the boat. And, uh, and that was, I think, a very beautiful moment that we, we shared. I remember that I was I was sending emails to everybody, and Leo said, let's get a drink. And I said, I'm going down. And so Leo arrived with the bottle, let's get a drink. And I think that was, that hug that we gave each other was a very beautiful moment, sharing the, the joy of everybody.